Welcome to Who Knows. Today I'm going to talk about one place I quite like in America, which is I find out it's really interested me a lot when I came to America, and it's a quite huge difference compared with the China. So the topic is about pet shop. Um, you know, the first time when my husband said he would take me to the pet shop, I was, you know, imagining it's a, just a place who's selling dogs or cat or a different kind of a small animal. But when we go there, it's really not like in my imagined. <laughs> because I have to say, uh, at first I have to tell you like, a, the pet shop, how the pet shop look like in China. You know, in China, when you talk about the pet shop, we will say, you know, in Chinese is Chongwu Dian. So people, most people, they will think like just a shop to sell the animal, which is like, uh, basically they will sell just dog and cat. That's all, only dog and cat, not another small animal, because the plate is small, you know, it can't really, how that much different kind of animal together, right? So <clears throat> when you know mentioned the Chong Wu Dian in China in China, well can be a just a shop to let you sh like buy the puppy or kitty or can be a just a hospital for the for the animal which they need. And also can be just a kind of like a salon. Because this day, you know, well have to say one thing first, you know, um, we not all the Chinese people eat dog, okay? <laughs> so maybe some old generation, they still think it's good for their health, that kind of nonsense. But you now the young generation, they really care about the dog a lot. So they will take the, they will take the dog to the, um, you know, the salon and get the expensive shower or haircut, that kind of thing. And yeah, they, this day they're really doing a quite good business. So I was looking for like the play, maybe we were like that, you know, they would sell the dog and kitty and also they have a salon and that's all. But, oh my God, it's when I, when my husband take me to the Peco, right? Is that called Peco? To the Peco. God, first I just want to say, is this Walmart? Because it's huge. I do have a one thing disappointing me is they don't really sell dog and cat. Um, they only have one small corner for the the dot for the cat or dog. Most of the time when I check the shop is they only have one or two cat to let people you know to choose to adopt. Um, didn't see any dog yet, and which is my husband keep telling me if we're looking for a dog or puppy, we need to go to the special <laughs> place, which is called a breeder, or maybe kind of like uh, the rescue rescue station. Because one time we do see show, show one, like a German Shepherd's one special. And yeah, that's how you can get a dog. Uh, I don't really know about the cat. Maybe cat, is that the same way? <laughs> to get a kitty, okay. Yeah, please let me know because I really love cat <laughs> more than a <the> dog. <laughs> and then the thing that really shocked me is another part. You know, um, you know they do have a, a lot of different kind of a smell, small animal, which are like a fish, golden, uh, the sea fish or the seaweed. Yeah, different kind of seaweed. And they're, they're really beautiful. Um, but I've, and they also will help you to, how to say, they will try their best to help you keep your thing alive because they have a seawater supply, exactly, exactly, a lot of different things. And also have a small, um, <laughs> we would like to say, <laughs> like a chong <laughs> dong what is that in English again? I mean, like lesser and snake, which is, you know, only climb 
on the floor. <laughs> so we call Pa Chong Tong. I don't know what's the English name again. It's some some of them are very cute, but I don't like snake. They too scary. Not my favorite. But it's good to look at them. And uh, and the rest of the pack shop, which is make me quite confused sometimes, is that a, a, a toy shop for children or or is it really really a pet shop? Because you can see the footage we took like um so many toys they have for different kind of animal. They have a toy for a dog or cat that's definitely they will have. But they even have for rabbit, for hamster, just for all the animal you can imagine. Or even have a clothes to let you you take them go out for walk like a rabbit or like a I don't know, hamster can you imagine you walk with your hamster i can't imagine that because we do have a hamster before only can walk in the cage <laughs> never out of the cage you know so it's really quite shocked me which is it's another culture shock for me maybe because you know um we you know in, in in china we do this day people feel lonely of course they would like to have a pet for a company but you know it's really compared with america we can't you know take that much good care of them um oh by the way i need to mention that last weekend when we checked the peco uh we we, we we even see they have a free wet there i think they maybe they will have some special event, event like a, um, I don't know how often we have that, but you can take your dog to there, have a free check or that kind of simple thing, which is really sweet because it's quite expensive. I'm, I'm sure if you go to the real um, doctor, the animal hospital here, um, and also in China, it's quite expensive. You, maybe it's, it's quite, something I, I feel sad about that is, in China, if you uh, if your dog have a culture catch a cold, they go to the hospital. We definitely spend more than a human who catch a cold to see in a clinic. Definitely. So sometimes we would say, like, "Oh God, you know, the people, the, the patient like to complain. Why need to spend like a ten dollar to see the to see a just common cold in clinic? But actually, the dog will take maybe ten times more than that." Um, you know, the pet culture, the quite different thing is um, in China, people want to have a pet so more like a, for a company or maybe I should not say that, just want to have something sweet or cute to look at, but not really treat them as a family, you know. Um, they, they, they will try their best to keep their life, that definitely, but you know won't really like um try their best to like um play with them or get some clothes or sleep with them or walk with them even it's a dog you know my my mom my mother liked to have a dog before and well i i guess maybe maybe only once in a month she will take the dog to walk outside because she's scared about you know the outside the environment we will get the bug or some just dirty thing on the dog and then the dog will have you know different kind of disease that kind of nonsense which is because she never take the dog to the to the wet to get some pill or get a special what they say to get, to keep the insect out you know, I, I know that I know this thing very well. Like in this day, if you have a dog or cat, you need to take some pill or also need some shower, that kind of thing. Then it doesn't matter how many times you walk with them at outside, still will be fine. Will be, you know, the bug the bugs won't really <laughs> stay with them all the time. So which is is nonsense, but uh, maybe this time the young people, young generation, they know how to do about that. But still, um, it's even they want to take their dog to go out for a park or something. In China, it's not that many auction because um, it's quite a lot a public park. They will have a sign like not allow pet to go. 
because you know too many people already <laughs> can you imagine like children play around and then suddenly have a lot of big dogs so they scare about that kind of accident so normally like public parks are not allowed dog to bring only some small amount of a park people they know it's safe to take the dog to walk around you know just only the pet people will know so they only would take to a few place but not that many auction. So most of the people, they only can walk with their dog just in the small garden. I mean like apartments garden. So, and oh, and by the way, in these days, still a lot of people, they don't use the, why is that? Um, leash. Leash, okay. Doesn't matter your dog is small or big, it's really safe for everyone. And in America, that's a kind of law. So, which is, I think it's really good because, you know, it's safe for another dog and also children. So I hope, you know, they can really follow that as well. Mm. And funny thing is, you know, in America, you really, really barely see people walk on the street, right? Everyone have a car. So when they go everywhere, they will drive the car. When I see people who will walk on the street, one, maybe they're running. And second, maybe just small walk, but not that many. Most of them, just because they want to walk with the dog. It's really compared in, in China. Maybe, of course, you can see people, mountain people see everywhere in China. But maybe you will notice only a few people, they will walk with their dog together. So it's compared with the amount of people who walk on the street. It's, quite a huge difference please if you have a dog or you have a cat i hope you can give me some advice for me because i really dream about to have a one dog and a one cat together <laughs> i just really want to know is that possible or which one should be first you know let me know and see you next time